genomics can offer a wide range of new diagnostic and treatment options. This is why Genomica has a vision to bring whole genome-based diagnostics to patients around the world. We are unlocking whole genome data with our world-leading analysis techniques. Genomica's expertise is in whole genome analysis. If you have a whole genome sequence, we can unlock it for you. Genomica is developing two new human diagnostics. The first one is called CAPEDX for cancer patients. And it's aimed at helping cancer patients and their medical oncologist to find the best drug for their cancer. The second product is called GolfDX, and it's aimed at helping people with hereditary diseases find the genomic cause of their disease. Because we look across the whole genome, we can help them avoid the diagnostic odyssey. Genomic is seeking clinical accreditation for our whole genome diagnostics. This will allow us to bring them directly to patients so that they can benefit. My main interests are that of integrating genomics and research into day-to-day -day clinical practice. Whole genome sequencing is a powerful technique to better understand the genomic causes of epilepsy. I'm working with Genomica really to identify the causes of epilepsy and provide a diagnosis for many of our patients who have had many years of not knowing the cause of their epilepsy. The other important benefit from my point of view is that we can now target treatment more based on these genomic causes. Genomica's tests look across the whole genome more comprehensive than other genomic tests. So more patients are more likely to find out information that helps them and their doctor. As researchers at QMR Birkhofer, we can see how important whole genome sequencing is. And we've been doing research into whole genome sequencing for a number of years now. So John Pearson and I founded Genomica um, to basically take our research into whole genome analysis into patient care. So we work on a variety of cancers. We tend to go for the ones which are harder to treat, um, more difficult. So that would be things like esophageal cancer, mesothelioma, breast cancer, melanoma, and so on. There's a couple of places where we could offer real value. One is for patients who've already failed first line of therapy, uh, and Genomica would offer a test that lets us dive deeper. And the second is for rare cancers, where, uh, where they're still not well understood. It's a very large computational task. It's, it's not like typical analysis tasks. Our pipeline, we run 500 jobs in a very particular order, with outputs from one job being the inputs from the next job. So you need to orchestrate that as a process. And that's one of the things that Genomica uh, really does well, is we understand our analysis process really well, and we have very strong orchestration. Genomica is providing us a, a platform of whole genome sequencing on our samples. And the way we're exploring the samples that come from these clinically performed procedures is how we can predict uh, the content of samples from lung cancer patients, so particularly EBUS tBNA. So sampling lymph nodes is a very commonly performed procedure in diagnosing lung cancer. And Genomica is providing whole genome sequencing to expand our understanding of the genomics um, in these patients. Clinical development's been revolutionised by the use of genomic biomarkers. We can now do clinical development programs cheaper and faster and have more regulatory success. If we add whole genome sequencing and analysis to that picture, we can have more success because we can discover the next generation of biomarkers. It was a natural progression to embrace uh, the emergence of uh, technologies in genomics and uh, genome sequencing when, when that came uh, available. And that allows precision health. That allows to have a very personal uh, approach to medicine by really understanding in one patient what could be the cause and the driving element that is causing the cancer and adapt the treatment to that particular cause. As an example for the benefit of whole genome for patients, um, we were involved in analysing a whole genome test for a young child who was diagnosed with facial spitz nevi. And using the whole genome test, we identified a gene fusion event between GOPC and ROS1. This led to the patient being treated with crizotinib and they responded very well. The best thing about whole genome sequence data is that it maximises the utility of genetic information. So it is future proof as well. We are very much interested in trying to implement machine learning and see how it can help in understanding genetic research. 
So we per double genomic eye on a three-year prospective study. What we try to understand is what are the genetic drivers that could help us in predicting cancer patients that will respond to immunotherapy. This is because immunotherapy is a less severe therapy for cancer patients. However, it is expensive and the response rate is quite low. So if we were capable, able to predict who will and who will not respond, that would make this treatment much more viable. We're already looking at what are the next technologies coming down the pike. One of the ones we're really interested in is long read sequencing. So that technology is, is probably not quite there now, but it's, it's coming fast and, and we're already ready for that. We have analysis pipelines in place. Genomica would be happy to talk to all participants who have whole genome sequence data. We're sure we can help unlock that data for the benefit of patients.